Let's welcome in our uh, guests on the program uh, today. Uh, first, our co-hosts, I should say, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. Billy? Good morning, Rob. Good to see you this lovely day. Gil Strap-Tumble, you knocked him dead with humor at uh, the, your hour-long speech at Shepherd the other day. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and I think hopefully people, uh, the other folks enjoyed it as well. So. And uh, tonight is the Boy Scouts dinner? No, that was last night. Well, last night was, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, and you sat with Mr. Gilstrap we at that? We did. John and I and his w- lovely wife, Joy, and Bonnie and I sat along with several other people. There were a lot of people there last night. And they honored it's Pete Mulford. Pete Mulford. It was a good, good evening. Everybody enjoyed it. And our friend Hans Fogel was the MC. He was that. Did a good job. Very nice. Let's also say good morning to Maria Lawrence and Maria Maria. How are you? I'm great. Good morning. Beautiful day out there. Is it? It is. I've been stuck in here since 5 a.m. I have no yeah. idea what's yeah, going on. Yeah, there's sunshine. Yeah, but we bring, we bring the sunshine in with us Indeed as we come. We do. So he does Indeed get sunshine do, through us. Yes. Yeah. You don't bring as much sunshine as our first guests, however, Bill. Oh, you're exactly right. I'm not nearly as attractive as the first guest either. Oh, well, you're close. Uh, you're a good looking guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> our guests. For, for radio, you can get along with that, get away with that. Well, we not, on cameras, feed, not, Bill, on the, not on the Facebook feed, Bill. Not on the Facebook feed. TV town. Uh, Meg Whitler, Chloe Thomas, and Trinity Jenkins from the Martin. Good Time Show Choir are with us this morning. Good morning to you three. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. morning. No, that sounds a lot like when I was your age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why well, I'm out this morning this early. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... You know, they might be better if you ask them to do it again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Meg because I know she's used to being awake at 8 a.m. first. So, Meg, good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having us. Now, We're tell so me excited. about the, the Good Time Show Choir and what is now called the American Classic. So the Good Time Show Choir is one of the oldest show choirs in West Virginia. I think we have, what, 42, 43 performers Mm -hmm. and um, people on our stage crews, and we are excited to host a competition this weekend, Friday and Saturday night at Martinsburg High School Auditorium. We have um, 18 choirs coming from throughout the state, and some from as far away as New York. Um, A couple groups from Frederick are coming, Mm -hmm. and it's gonna be a great weekend. Meg, what is your position with the show choir? I'm one of the parent boosters, and mm-hmm. I'm the co-chair for the competition this weekend. Okay. The show choir used to come in and do shows uh, even in the studio here when uh, Katie Schramm was there. Where's Katie now? Katie is at WVU, and she is working on getting her master's over there. Um, and she's actually coming in this weekend to judge for the choir competition. Oh, that's awesome. So we get to see her again. All right, let's, let's talk to our young ladies that we have here. The very enthusiastic, always <laughs> always awake at 8 a.m. and ready to take over the world, <laughs> Chloe and Trinity. Are you guys both seniors, Chloe? Yes, we are yes. both seniors. You look familiar. Have you been in here before? Yes, so she she came in here with me last time. Last time and okay. we were yeah. here, yeah. Bill. Yeah. Do you remember? There you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember. I do remember. Okay. Thanks, Maria. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, yes is a positive, right? Uh, now, uh, you guys, uh, I think we talked about dumplings, didn't we? You guys were making dumplings. We did. We were making our famous apple dumplings. Yeah. How'd that go, by the way? I would say it went really well. We made about 6,000, I believe, and we sold all of them. Um, they're so, so good. They are, they're very oh. good. Oh, my they're very good. And we were expecting to bring in some samples this morning. <laughs> I, and I did not eat breakfast this morning or dinner last night. That's not exactly right. I did. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. They would have been frozen for a long time, Bill, from, from when they created the apple dumplings yeah. back in the fall. But yeah. they're good after you thaw. <laughs> after, after, you thaw. after you thaw don't break a tooth you know, yeah frozen, you don't want to do that frozen dumpling there okay so uh you guys sell dumplings in order to make money so you can travel and cover your expenses and and help the show choir and such uh do you recall how much you made from your dumpling sale um i want to say it typically brings in about twenty thousand dollars for us that's a healthy amount so yeah right. really helps us with our all of our expenses for the show choir season. Have you been traveling or will you be soon? Uh, we traveled all like the past two months. We went to, I think, five oh, competitions where'd you go? so far. Tell, tell um, we went to two places in Virginia. So we went to Clover Hill and Cosby. And then in Ohio, we went to Sheridan and Walsh. Mm-hmm. And then in West Virginia, we went to South Harrison. And how did you guys do? At, uh, what? Cosby. Cosby. At Cosby, we got first place. Mm, congratulations. Okay. Yeah. And lots of awards throughout the year. That's very that's yeah. very impressive. But, but I'm not surprised. I've seen the show choir perform numerous times, and you guys are dynamite. <laughs> and right. in, yeah. the, in, in the way it works this weekend, you all just host, mm-hmm. correct? You don't perform. Or do you do a performance, but not for 
judging. Yes, we yes. do a performance okay. right before the that's, awards. That's my recollection. Okay. Yeah, do they call that an exhibition if you are not being judged? Yes. Right? Now, some people who are judgmental will judge you, <laughs> but it's that not an true. official judging. <laughs> that is true. If, if I have that correct. Now, what do you sing, obviously? Do you also dance? Yes. What do you yes. Do? Oh, yeah. It's quite at a. At the same time. Yeah. Same same time. At the okay. same time, yeah. though. Okay. We've, yeah. we've cleared a platform uh, around <laughs> Bill to get a little sample of what's going on here. I, uh, Colin, could you bring the platform yeah, in? Yeah, please do. That's, this, I'm excited. It's impressive, Bill. Yeah, yeah it's very impressive. Uh, so. Where else are you going this year before the school year ends in competition? Um, we had our last competition um, already, so we won't be traveling anymore, but we will still have some performances like locally throughout the rest of the year. Tell me about those. So obviously we'll be performing this weekend for our competition, but we'll also have um, our choir concerts, which are at the beginning of May, and then we have Senior Farewell, which is just the huge wrap-up of our entire year and just the farewell to seniors. Um, so we'll be performing our competition shows and then some also some senior shows okay. at that that's give, on May 21st. Give me more details about how the uh, the public gets tickets, access, and such to the big show this weekend. Uh, Meg, you want to handle that, or does that go to one of our bright and one chipper of, students? One of our seniors is all ready to do that. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, so Friday night is all going to be chamber and concert choirs, and it is $15 <clears throat> to attend. Um, on Saturday, for the daytime part, it is going to be $20, and then for finals that night, it would be um, $10. But you can buy a weekend pass for $30, meaning you can go to anything the entire weekend. And this will all be held uh, uh, what it's the physical footprint of where everything is being performed. It is basically taking over the entire Martinsburg High School. So all of all of the uh, performances will take place in our auditorium. All of the concessions will be in the, our cafeteria. Um, our daytime awards will be in the gym. So it's just kind of all over the place because those two spots are complete opposite sides of the school. So it's it's everywhere. We just take over basically the whole school. Chloe, I got to give you some credit. You know, you started off rough with that hello, good morning, but you're <laughs> you're building momentum here. You know, you're, you're coming along nice. The coffee's kicking in. The coffee's kicking in. I'm impressed. You're saving the day here. You're saving now, the day. The performers on Friday night, mm -hmm. all of them will repeat on Saturday night? The performances on Friday are choirs. Choirs, okay. Yes. No dancing, Bill. But Just no singing. Yeah. <laughs> but, but my point is that all the, all the contestants will be on both Friday and well, Saturday night, the same ones are on Friday night. Exactly. Saturday night is going to be, so Friday is going to be the... Uh, choirs and then Saturday is going to be show choirs. Some okay. schools have both choirs and show choirs. That's so. my point. Okay, but yes. thank you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maria. So, um, what's the what's the best part about hosting? I mean, obviously, I know what. Well, I think I know what you'd say about the best part about the performance piece is, but um, hosting is a little different. Um, uh, slice of pie there so what's the best part about hosting <laughs> slice of dumpling slice of dumpling <laughs> there you go i'll give my personal favorite part and then she can give hers but mm -hmm. i think the most fun part to, uh, to me is just decorating. We spend a lot of time, uh, we buy all the decorations and we get candy and we make signs which is really fun to do and then um, also just to meet the group and just like we kind of like last year I know I made friends with some of the people that I hosted so I think that's a really great part about it. I would say for me, um, for any competition you go to, you're always kind of looking forward to seeing the host group. Sometimes that's the only time that you're able to see them throughout the throughout the year. So for us, when we perform like as as a group, although we're not competing, the atmosphere and the auditorium and just the everyone watching us is through the roof. It's probably the best audience we have all year. That's so exciting just to hear everyone cheering you on. And since it's not a competition, it's all friendly. No one's like competing. No one wants to, you know, be better than the other. So it's just a lot of uplifting stuff. And I would say that's my favorite part. Cool. In studio with the folks from the Good Time Show Choir, Chloe Thomas, Meg Whitler, and Trinity Jenkins. Uh, Meg, tell me about these two here. Well, um, that would be hard for me to talk about without getting emotional. They're getting ready to graduate, and I we am going cry? to miss them desperately. <laughs> nice. Yes. Um, if you think about what you would want um, for your children to to kind of achieve and to represent, I would say these two are shining examples. They are student leaders. They are leaders um, in the classroom and out of the classroom. They are kind. They are caring. They encourage all of the other group members. They set the standard for what younger kids um, in the show choir can kind of look forward to achieving throughout their years in good times. Um, and of course, they're 
they're just incredible. So you've, you've caught me at an emotional <laughs> bias moment. And so I'm going to miss them. And I've been so honored to, to get to know them throughout the years. It's, we're, we're really a family. We've, we've known since each other since intermediate school um, with the Harmony Show Choir and then South Middle with South Spirit and now Good mm -hmm. Times. And so I don't really know what a, what a show choir experience looks like without these two. So. And other than their 8 a.m. hellos, they're really dynamite on the air too. They <laughs> are incredible. As good as they are on the air, they are 10 times better in person and on stage. And I, I understand one of these young ladies recently scored five goals in a, in a game. Uh, my, my, my friend Chris keeps me up on the lacrosse accomplishments of a certain athlete singer at Martinsburg High School. I would take the credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, what's, what's your secret to the uh, productivity there, the goal scoring? Um, you know, I don't know. Is it in the wrist? I, I guess so. I've been told that my cradle is like a kind of like an around the world thing. I just take my whole wrist and just spin it. Yeah. Um, and it's not what anyone else does. So maybe that's my secret technique. I don't know. <laughs> How long have you been playing lacrosse? This is technically my second year. Um, I started my freshman year, but it was like two weeks of practices. And then it COVID shut everything down. And right. I didn't start up again until junior year. So my technical second year. Mm-hmm. You mentioned COVID, and obviously mm -hmm. you guys went through that while you were in school, okay? So tell me about getting through that and now getting back to basically a normal senior year. Compare and contrast that as you went through from freshman to sophomore to junior to senior. Yeah, so we had a pretty normal freshman year. We went to competitions, but our competition season got cut off our freshman year. And so our sophomore year, we did... Uh, I know Ms. Sharam tried to keep like the group together, so we did a lot of virtual practices um, and a lot of Zoom calls, and we did like a virtual show kind of, where we would like record our voices and we made like a whole video. That's how we did that year. Hmm. And then coming mm -hmm. back into kind of like moving into our junior year was like really exciting because we were finally able to like come back to performing and being together. So, yeah. Chloe. I would say it's definitely been a crazy four years. I don't think we've had a normal year of high school, um, class of 2023. But for me, it definitely show choir has kind of been that one constant thing um, because, you know, I, I had soccer, I had lacrosse, I had all these other things, but it all kind of stopped sophomore year when, when COVID took, up, um, took over and then good times stay together. And that was been, that's what kind of got me through it. I looked forward to those Zoom calls. Um, so coming out of COVID, it was definitely a lot of readjusting. We had to change a lot of things, um, but it has remained constant. And I'm looking forward to, you know, having this normal senior year, hopefully the rest of the year. Um, so super excited to see all that take place and, and COVID kind of be in the past. And Meg, your view from uh, above, basically 30,000 feet looking down at what these kids went through. Um, I, I think I'd echo what Chloe said as far as how... Um, at the beginning of their high school careers, there was a little bit of normal, then a total adjustment. Um, and I, I do love how Good Times pivoted to make sure that these kids could still um, participate and um, do everything virtually. Um, I have a son who's a junior, and so he was recording his videos, um, grabbed a tripod, and it was really, I think, kind of a great example of how arts and education can be so important for our students, for their mental health, mm -hmm. for continuing in normalcy in a time when so many things weren't normal. Mm -hmm. um, and then to see them be able to return to competition and full on um, attending shows and being with kids at throughout different high schools um, and that interaction that they didn't get to experience earlier has been um, a breath of fresh air and just a joy to watch unfold. Billy, yeah. What what's happens after this year? Are you going to going to college? Um, I'm definitely going to college. Okay. I have not made a decision yet. Um, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between staying in state or going to Florida, yeah. where my dad lives. Okay. Um, but I will be going to college. You have any idea what you're majoring? I plan on majoring in forensics and psychology. Mm. Um, if I go to Florida, I might work a little bit with music and do some sure. choirs. Yeah. Um, but I'm still making some decisions. Not much time left, but you know, just hoping for the best. But fun times. Fun times, yeah, yes. Yeah. Fun How times. about you, friend? I still am also deciding. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm deciding before between four schools, and I'm going to go visit them during spring break. But um, I'm majoring in psychology, and I'm hoping to make my decision right after spring break where I want to go. What What are the, what are the four <laughs> schools? Um, I have Virginia Tech and um, WVU, and then University of Georgia and Clemson. All good schools, yeah. And uh, Southern. 
That's right. Yeah. That's right. My neighbor's kid went to uh, Georgia, and another neighbor's kid went to Alabama. Ooh. Both enjoyed their experiences. Yeah. Right. So can't you can't. And if you get it wrong the first time, you're young. There's plenty of time to get it right. So don't <laughs> don't stress over this. Is what exactly. I'm. If you even though you're going to because you you know it's your life. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you're, you're young. You got time. Right? So one of our a couple of our people on the chat. Um, would like you to do a little song for us. Oh. So I don't know if you're this prepared. This will not be my part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if that, if you can't totally understand, but I feel compelled to to ask. Oh, <laughs> um, I can sing the solo, like maybe like two or three lines I sing for Glitz. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Okay. Thought I couldn't breathe without you, I'm in heaven. You thought I couldn't see without you, perfect vision. You thought I couldn't last without you, but I'm a lesson. You thought that I would die without you, but I'm living. Very nice. Excellent. Very nice. Good job. Whoa, did Mariah Carey just step in the room? <laughs> <laughs> um, I... I, if you had a lacrosse stick, I would 100% um, show off that, but maybe not singing. Well, maybe we can have Maria and Rob do a duel and oh. sing. No, we're not going to do that, I, are we, Rob? Fly me to the moon, Jack. <laughs> Channel a little Sinatra for you. At 825, we are visiting with our friends from the Good Time Show Choir. Uh, Meg Whitler has brought with us uh, seniors Chloe Thomas and uh, Trinity Jenkins, who will be moving on after this year, but not before they uh, put on a big show this weekend. If you could summarize again. Uh, what's going to be taking place, where, and how much? Um, yeah, so we are having our competition this weekend, and it is basically our biggest fundraiser for next year. So it's a lot of exciting things happening, and it's for a great cause. But this weekend, we'll be hosting 18 schools on Friday and Saturday. To attend Friday night, it is going to be $15. To attend Saturday during the day, it is $20, and finals only would be $10. But you can buy a weekend pass for $30. Um, all of the performances will be happening in Martinsburg High School's auditorium, um, and then we'll have some concessions and awards happening throughout the school. Um, and it's going to be an exciting times. It's going to be a lot of, lot of good schools performing, a lot of good show choirs, choirs. So it's something that I'm really excited to see, um, especially experience for the last time as a senior. Um, am I missing anything? Did you get the times of the oh, start? Oh, yeah. the times, yes. So Friday starts at 4 p.m., um, and I believe Saturday starts at 9 a.m., I think. Mm-hmm. And, and can people just purchase tickets at the door then? Yes. Um, okay. Yes. All right. Good and then Saturday night start what time? Saturday. Um, that kind of depends on the day. Okay. Uh, daytime awards, I believe, is taking place around four p.m. So, mm-hmm. as long as the competition stays on schedule, it should be taking place right sure. after that. But okay. there's a lot of things that can happen and get sched- or yeah. get competitions yeah. pushed back. So, I would imagine this is a good um, a good thing for the community at large because you know you're bringing 18 schools in not everybody is local clearly um, and you know they've got to stay somewhere right are they going to stay overnight many of them so um, and do they stay with a ho- in a hotel or do they stay with parents or the other family they're all at Meg's house Bill yeah usually they would stay in a hotel I know for, for mm-hmm. our group when we have competitions and overnight trips we have like a group of usually it's four people that you stay with consistently um so i'm assuming that's kind of universal for all the choirs was it in uh, your personalities to be confident public speakers and performers or did this help make you that oh this has definitely helped especially with singing even like speaking just being on stage and performing multiple times in a year definitely helps me like go out of my comfort zone is, is, is um, one second, I'm sorry, Chloe. Is that something you had trouble with at first, Trinity? Yes, especially in middle school. I feel like I had, I was always nervous, especially speak on stage. I feel like over the years, every year I've become more confident in being in front of people. How about you, Chloe? I would, I would definitely agree with that. I, um, I'm actually giving a speech at graduation, and that's something I could never have imagined doing, you know, in middle school. Um, and now here I am, you know, two months out, uh, less than two months out. Uh, but throughout show choir, I've been, you know, obviously you're always on stage, you're you're in the lights, you're on, you know, you're performing all the time. Um, so that's definitely helped me gain confidence, not just in performing, but just like being aware, being outgoing and all of that. Uh, but also I've served as like triumph president last year, and that involved a lot of public speaking. And it was basically just a 
okay, you're going to do this and you're going to do it well. I didn't really have time to like prepare and that definitely, you know, enhanced my public speaking um, to now be able to public speak all the time and be comfortable with it. Tony, did you play sports as well? I dance. Okay. So is it more nerve wracking to (laughs) perform uh, for the show choir or to play a lacrosse game match? Uh, I would say or soccer. I would say show choir, just because I've played sports my entire life, so that's kind of always what I'm accustomed to and always resort back to, but I got into show choir later, so it's kind of been, you know, I've had to build up that confidence more than I did with sports, Um, and I also feel like the spotlight is honestly on you more in show choir. Even though there's more people, I feel like I feel more pressure to kind of do well and get more nerves than if I'm, you know, taking the draw in a lacrosse game, so definitely show choir for me. How about you, Trinity? I think show choir is a little bit more nerve wracking only because um, it's just both of them combined, singing and dancing combined. So there's a lot more going on, a lot more to think about, especially when you're singing a solo, that's a lot more to think about. So I definitely think it's a little bit more. How many people are in the Good Time Show Choir? I believe we have about 29 singer dancers um, and then a roughly 10 stage crew and mm-hmm. probably 10 band members. Um, those are kind of general estimates. I don't know off the top of my head, but I mean, it's a big group. I was going to say, and that's yeah. a lot going on. I mean, you think about the choreography of 29 people yeah. all mm-hmm. moving at the same time. Well, you hope yeah. all moving at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but yeah, just watching is, um, is, is pretty phenomenal to. Mm-hmm. Now the, the show choir, there was also the lady choraliers and other branches and divisions and such. Is that still the case with the whole group? Yes, we have um, our choraliers, which is our women's ensemble or women's um, treble choir. And then we have actually an all girls show choir called Glitz. It's in its second year ever. Um, and then obviously we have Good Times, which is the mixed unisex or mixed group. Are they all performing this weekend? Yes. Do, do, the, do the people in one also populate some of the other two? It's a mix. Yeah. yeah. Some people are in good times. Some I know somebody that's in Author. Glitz. Yeah, Glitz, Corlears, and Good Times. There's some people that are in Glitz and Good Times. It kind of just mix around. So it's a lot to learn. It, yeah. Lots lots of music to learn throughout the year. How do you balance all the requirements that are necessary to do all of these activities, play sports, and get good grades so that they ask you to speak at graduation? <laughs> um, People would probably answer that. I might not answer that, but I drink a lot of caffeine. Um, and I don't sleep. That's that's how I do it. Oh, not right. healthy. You, you and I yeah. have that in common. Yeah. <laughs> Got that going on. The sleep deprived yeah. you. Trinity? The same with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Well, Meg, uh, I understand why you'll miss these two. Absolutely. They've been, they've been great on the show over the years, other than their 8 o'clock hello this morning. <laughs> I know. Which was really below par. If we could go back and I re-edit like they that. they recovered very well. They did so. recover very nicely, very nicely. And again, uh, one more uh, summary of what's happening this weekend at Martinsburg High School, if you guys don't mind. So this weekend we'll be hosting the uh, American Classic, which is a show choir competition where we'll have 18 choirs performing Friday evening and all day Saturday, moving on uh, is it five groups or six groups that move on five to finals? Groups. So five groups from Saturday will move on to finals on Saturday evening. Um, and for your listeners, I think it's important to note that we have groups coming from throughout the Eastern Panhandle as well. So um, we've got the Jefferson Pop Singers are coming. Um, Musselman's Choirs, they have um, treble choirs as well as a show choir, is coming and their show is so fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then throughout the state for the first time, we have Nitro coming. And who else do we have? Ravenswood. Ravenswood is coming. Ravenswood yep. Is coming. So uh, we've got a great representation of choirs from throughout the state, the Eastern Panhandle, and beyond. So we hope that the community comes out to see the amazing, talented um, kids we have uh, learning and um, performing for music in our schools. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you well, thank for, you for having, having us. us. Absolutely. Good luck to all of you, thank including you. next year, wherever you decide to go to school. <laughs> and we'll have you back in at 8 o'clock doing a big hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Sign us up. <laughs>